sports do play a huge role mm-hmm. in your development. And I feel like Kobe, I feel like Ben Isabella Kobe is something else, huh? There's literally, like, there's no words to describe Kobe, bro. No words. <laughs> but what makes him so great? Just his, like, the way he was a leader, the way, like, I remember watching Laker games when I was young. I never had, like, that fear of, like, oh, we're going to lose or, you know what I mean? And, like, literally, like, clockwork, day in, day out, he just put in, he worked insanely hard, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of stories about how he wakes up at, like, 4 a.m. and, works out and shoots a thousand shots before a practice and like after the practice still shoots some more it's it's crazy like the work ethic and dedication that he had was beyond like it's truly i feel like he he his message was falling in love with the process mm. like the process of that's being successful huge exactly that's deep and that's why his his legacy will never die out like his 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 understanding of, of the way things worked in life and how hard work and dedication cannot be taken away from you was tremendous. Like, it was great. I want to touch on falling in love with the process mm-hmm. because um, I feel like we're all caught up with the destination. Mm-hmm. We're all caught up with going somewhere. Right. With Which, by the way, is completely fine. Mm-hmm. But so we're all caught up with getting 100,000 followers. Not all of us, but most of us. <laughs> them, we're all uh, that's what you're taught, though. Like, you're taught yeah. to always kind of, like, never take your eyes off the prize or whatever. But that's not being in the moment at the same time, you know? And it's not being happy. Exactly. Because as long as you don't have the prize, right. you're not happy. Mm-hmm. And the moment that you have it, you're looking for the bigger prize. Exactly. I mean, you, it's like a hamster wheel. You just keep it is. chasing it is. and chasing and chasing. And I feel like we've been taught that intentionally. Yeah. Because because you were always taught, wow, this is huge. I feel like you were never taught to be who you really, really can aspire to be. Right. You were taught to be part, like a small part of a machine. Mm-hmm. And that's why you were taught. That's why there are so many employees. I'm not bashing employees. You can be no, an no, employee. You take hundred million dollars in a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Fair True. But you were taught to mm. be a working part. Right. You weren't taught to be an entire machine mm. by your own, whether that's in art or in sports or in whatever it is. Right. Fair mm-hmm. enough. And I feel like it's because of that, and then people don't end up just realizing who they are, and it's because of that that people end up in nine to five jobs they're just paycheck to paycheck but that's just the same fucking routine every single day with the moment that they break it mm-hmm. is the moment that they're free they you feel like they're free. super happy they feel like they're different they feel like they're doing something with their lives right so i feel like falling in love with the process is so important and falling in love with the process is basically exactly just read like for real whatever it is exactly. let's say you're a musician you just love the process of writing a song exactly. and then that's the process you're not falling in love with getting a million followers or mm-hmm. getting a million views or getting a million listens which by the way is super cool and it's nice and it's recognition and you feel happy for it right. but so when you fall in love with the process of la 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 and I'm upset and I'm at the time undisturbed doing something that I love mm-hmm. you're never gonna end up caring about the prize exactly because it won't be work to you like you won't treat it as work exactly it's, it's and you're already I satisfied exactly. I feel like that's that that's the and that detail you know that but you're already upset with you with you that is you working putting in the work just not waiting for the podcast to grow to a million followers right, because right. you just don't give a fuck Mm-hmm. Fellas, you're just doing it because you want to and you're doing it because you enjoy the process of meeting new people talking to new people just pumping out content every week right just love that so much and mm-hmm. you enjoy it and you enjoy when people every single week when people go like all right this is this is cool i like that mm-hmm. but that doesn't fuel you 
exactly. what fuels you is the process sure itself. Work. I feel yeah, like, yeah. Yani, again, I don't know much about Kobe. I feel like you do a lot. But uh, yeah, I feel like that's what he meant by love the process. It's yeah. loving the thing that you're doing, not the, the, the thing that you want, the, the material, yani, the physical thing that you want to have in your hand. Exactly. Whether it's the championship or the money or the fame, the, the, the fame, the nothing. Trophies. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just loving shooting every shot. Exactly. And loving dribbling every dribble. Fam, Ozzy, mm-hmm. it's loving that. Yeah. And it's also like, I feel like um, once you get to that type of like level of commitment, it's all about attention and detail and like trying to like use every single piece of information that you have to like like in your advantage you know what i mean and towards your advantage so like it's 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 definitely like it's it's crazy to see it's crazy to see and and like see it work like up up close or like even just reading a story about like how it does work you know what i mean and hearing them both like jordan and kobe both talk about like work and work ethic and all that that's crazy I love how dedicated you are to that. In genuinely, <laughs> I feel like yeah, I feel like it, it feeds your passion no, for, for sure. basketball and for yeah, leadership. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like you have a huge passion for leadership yeah. and for being a rock. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, I mean, I mean, the thirteen days I have talked about them, though, I feel like that, <laughs> like I can genuinely say this: this man loves loves basketball and he loves being not not independent, but being. I from a hard time to tell me that he Yeah, 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 exactly. And 